What's going on my fishing fam? First off, let me take this little moment to say thank you to all the subscribers, even the new ones, you guys just tuning in, checking out, seeing what I'm doing on the channel. Really do appreciate it and all the comments. On this little outing right here, I decided to take my second trip over to the lock entrance of Cape Canaveral. Now, if you're not familiar with the lock entrance, it basically connects the Banana River on one side to the Atlantic Ocean on the other. So you get a lot of bigger game fish species that are moving through there, mostly redfish and snook. Um, so I decided to take a little trip out there. The last time I went there with a buddy of mine, we connected with some Spanish mackerel and some bluefish. Saw a couple of black drum and sheep's head. So wanted to give another try out there, head out early in the morning, sling around a top water and swim bait and uh, just see if we can connect with some fish. Thanks a lot you guys for watching. So let's get to it. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, it's a little jack. Talk about not catching this around this area. Whoa, <laughs> all right, well, there he goes. So anyway, we're starting off the morning with a little Jack Creval. That's pretty cool, man. He hit that top water like he weighed a couple of pounds and he only weighed one pound, so that's cool. I was too worried about getting hooked by him, man. Jack Creval are just little, little shakers. So after a few more casts, I noticed that these pilings don't have any signs on them that say you can't be standing. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my way down here and see if I can find a good spot to get up on top of this thing. That was a really good sized ladyfish. I don't know if I got the jump on camera, but I should have got a better hook set. I wasn't ready for that. So after fan casting around looking for some bites, I uh, end up looking to the right down the piling wall and notice there is a massive school of fish moving on the surface right there.
So after casting at whatever that school is, I didn't hook up, so I'm trying to hurry up and get down the pilings, see if I can catch up with them and bomb a cast down there. Big fish on, big fish, big fish. Oh my God, it's taking drag, here we go. Big fish, what is this? Oh my God. What the heck is this? Good Jack, really good Jack. Oh God. Good jack for this area. I saw a bunch of head wakes down there. I had a feeling, there he is down there. I had a feeling it was a school of jacks. Just walking down the pilings with him here. A whole school of jacks. You can see all their head wakes. I was trying to run down the pilings quick enough to get to them. It might pop off because I'm going to change the hook angle in a second here. There we are, a little, little Jack of all. He'd be perfect dock bait, man, if you're trying to go for like a Goliath or something like that. Perfect dock bait, but I'm actually gonna take him home. We're gonna use him for cut bait for another time if he doesn't jump out of my hands here. Right, so wrapping it up man head on back to o-town it was an okay morning got a couple of jacks jumped a really big ladyfish that would have been probably my personal best ladyfish not that we're looking for a personal best ladyfish but i mean it's still nice to find a big one we saw a couple other things too you know some spanish max tons of sheep's head didn't get the spear one i'm gonna come back and try that another time when i've got my mask and snorkel with me throw a dive flag and see if we can get some of them anyway thanks for a lot for watching the video if you're not a subscriber please go ahead and hit the subscribe button show your love to some florida boys and uh i will catch you on the next one later